Yeah, I'm getting the same exact thing that I got before. I'm just getting, like, just a lot of mechanical wave. So I, I guess I have two of these now, and neither one of them is doing what I want it to? XP Pen sent me this box all the way from China. Fragile. Inside it is the new Artist Pro 16. Now, when XP Pen did reach out to me a few weeks ago and said, do you want to review our new 16-inch tablet? I was like, yes, absolutely I do, because they had just announced that they have a multi-touch display, which is very rare on drawing tablets, especially like a really budget-friendly drawing tablet. Unfortunately, once I opened this up, I realized this is not that product. They're releasing two products, so this is the non-touch version. And this one looks a lot like last year's XP Pen Innovator 16. That's a good thing. That was a really well-designed tablet. If you want to check out that older review or just do some research into the drawing tech, I do rank my favorites over on my website. So inside the astronaut box itself, we have the tablet. Taking bags off things is not my superpower. It's got this nice plastic film on it that you can peel off once you open it up. That keeps it from getting scratched in transit. All right, this was pretty cool. This is the pen case you uh, tap to click it open. Let's see if I can open this one-handed if I slide it out. There we go. You can see the pen. If I get it a little bit more open there, you see there's some extra nibs in there. It's really nice. It's really well built the way it slides in here and just like snaps shut when you're done. I, I'm digging this case. You're also gonna find everything you need to hook this up. There is the USB HDMI connectors. This is a three-in-one cable. You also have like a USB extender cable, and this is a power adapter, and there are also some uh, other power adapters for other countries included in the box as well. The thing that's not in the box that I was expecting to find in the box was some kind of stand to place this on. Uh, there's no feet, there's no way to really prop it up, so you are gonna have to invest in some kind of stand, whether it's from XP Pen or just something you grab off of Amazon. All right, now that we have this thing unboxed, let's set it up. I'm setting this thing up. Let's go over some of these specs. First of all, we've got a 15.4 inch screen. It's full HD, that's 1920 by 1080, and it's a 99% Adobe RGB color gambit. Is it fully laminated? Yes, that means there's no gap between the glass and the screen below it, which is a very nice thing to have for illustration and drawing. Contrast ratio is standard, about a thousand to one. Viewing angles, I find that they're just okay, 178 degrees. And this is their new X3 Elite Plus stylus. It has 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity and 60 degrees of tilt and a 200 RPS report rate. XP Pen did send me some bullet points on their new X3 stylus. It has what they call the X3 smart chip. XP Pen sent me a bunch of bullet points about this new X3 smart chip that they're putting in this stylus. It looks like the main benefit of this new pen is an improved initial activation rate. That means you don't have have to apply as much pressure in order to get a line. Last night as I was finishing up my day, I decided to pick up the pen and try it out, see if the pressure sensitivity was working after the installation and all that, and I immediately noticed there was a lot, a lot of wave on the lines. So my next step is to figure out, is this a Brad problem or is this a hardware problem? I always assume that it's my fault, that it is user error. Because nine times out of 10, it is. So the next step is I just got it installed on Windows. We're gonna give it a try there. I also took my old Mac laptop and I'm reinstalling Mac OS on that right now because I wanna make sure that the software, XP Pen software is not clashing with any old drivers that I have on my other Mac or clashing with something else that might be causing this problem. So I am wiping that clean, reinstalling Mac OS, and we're gonna test on that later today when that is finished installing. Let's give this a roll. I'm going to start by just testing the pressure, see how it looks. Everything looks pretty good. Pressure is working. Going to get some quick brush strokes in here just to see what's happening. We get a little bit of uh, shoestringing, but nothing too terrible here. The big test are those lines. So we have our own layer. So let's go ahead and just draw some slow diagonal lines at different speeds to see what's happening. And I am seeing a lot of mechanical wave on this too. That's not good. Just to make sure that it's not my hand that's wobbling and that we're picking it up from the pen, I'm gonna use this straight edge and we'll go ahead and draw that line out. And yes, we're seeing something very similar. I'm seeing a lot of indents to the lines when they're on an angle. All right, so the next step is to figure out what are our options. It looks like it's happening on the hardware side. Just to do my due diligence, I'm gonna wait for that Mac to finish like reinstalling. Then I'm gonna test it on there. 
just to make sure it's not happening on my side. Then I'm gonna contact XP Pen and see what they have to say. This is a pre-production unit. Uh, they sent it to me uh, before they started selling these things and they said, if you have any problems, contact us, which I often do if I'm getting something from the manufacturer. Sometimes there's beta software that they're working on that's gonna be going out to customers as this thing launches, or there might even be a firmware update that's gonna fix all this that is installed on the later things that was not installed on my particular unit. So we're gonna find that out. But what that probably means for this review is I'm gonna put it on pause for a few days or even a few weeks, work on some other stuff, and talk to you later. Good morning, I have right here on my desk a new product, just came in the mail last night, and I am going to open it. It's been a few weeks, so I should probably back up a little bit and explain what happened. First, tried it out on that fresh install of Mac OS I was telling you about earlier, still had the same problem. So I contacted XP Pen and I told them what was going on, gave them examples of it, and they gave me some stuff to test. In the meantime, I decided to, to take an extra step. What I wanna figure out in all of these reviews is what is the experience the customer is going to have with the product. The original product was an early release product. I wanted to actually use the product that is coming off the shelf. So I went to their website and I bought this tablet and had it shipped to me. I actually bought two tablets. Remember that touch-based tablet that I mentioned at the beginning of the review? That's gonna be a totally separate review, but I picked that up too. That is literally my favorite part of unboxing. All right, got this running on the fresh Mac. I uninstalled the drivers and reinstalled them just to make sure. I've got Krita open here. That's another thing I didn't mention earlier is that if I come across a problem, I like to go to a different app and test it there to see if it might be a problem with one particular program. And that's why you've seen me use Clip Studio and Photoshop and here is Krita. So here we go, line test, angled lines, slow. Oh, yeah, I'm getting the same exact thing that I got before. I'm just getting, like, just a lot of mechanical wave. So I, I guess I have two of these now, and neither one of them is doing what I want it to? All right, uh... Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. This is what I found. So now the next logical question is, how bad is that wave? Is this something we can just draw around and not worry about and that sort of thing? So to do that, we need something to draw. It is September, and September is also known as Sword Timber. Sword? Sword Timber. It's like Inktober, but you're drawing swords every day instead of just using ink. It's pretty awesome. Some of you shared some of your stuff with me. So today, for me, in real time, it's September 10th. I'm gonna look at the prompt list. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna draw. I'm going to be using Faith Schaefer's prompt list. And the word for September 10th is banished. I didn't really know where I was going with this when I started drawing. I don't think it turned out the way I originally envisioned it, but I I'm pretty happy. I was thinking about when humans lived in tribes, and if you did something really horrible, your punishment was banishment. They'd kick you out of the tribe. And back then, you didn't live very long without the help of other people. So my thinking was, hey, let's use some old material, wood, as opposed to some kind of metal. So think of this as more of a clubbing sword than a slicey slicey stab stab sword. The twigs intertwined in the middle started as a way to show separation from the group, but because there's two twigs and they're kind of twisting around each other, it doesn't really make sense, but oh well. I like drawing it. And I did toggle on and off line smoothing as I was drawing this, so the wave that I was talking about before, it wasn't terrible. I didn't really notice it as much, but I wasn't drawing a lot of ink lines. I was drawing more shapes. And a lot of those shapes were organic. So for this project, that's good news. Where this does show up more is if you're trying to draw straight lines. And the faster that you draw, the less wave you're gonna see. I also tried out that initial activation rate while I was drawing, and it's, it's pretty good. If you're a light sketcher, you're gonna really appreciate that. All right, so in conclusion, what do we have here? Well, we have some pros and we have some cons. Obviously, this is a really good price for the product it is. It does some things really well. I think the screen looks really good. I love the design of it. I love the thinness. I love the placement of the buttons. I think the build quality of this product is really good. The cons, well, you already know this. The, the big thing is with the drawing tablet is the number one thing I needed to do is I need it to draw well. And for me and my style, especially my ink lines and things like that, it's just, it's just not there. Obviously there's a new pen, this is new tech. They're just rolling it out here. It's maybe one step forward when we're talking about initial activation rate, but it feels like a big step backwards when we're talking about the actual 
drawing experience. If you looked at this thing and thought, wow, that's really cool, I think last year's version is probably a better option. This is a new style of video for me. You probably noticed that already. So I wanted to thank you for watching to the end. I would love your feedback down below in the comments. Do you like the more polished style? Do you like this more blog style of a review? What things can I improve on? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.